Before I was born again as a lecturer in the University of Lagos, I had a driver because I've just come down from up country. <laughs> and I was afraid to drive in Lagos. So I had a driver that I paid regularly salary. And by the middle of the month, I was borrowing money from my driver to be able to put fuel in the car. But then I became born again. And things changed. Because before I became born again, I had many friends who would come to my house and there is hardly any kind of alcoholic drink that we won't find in my house then. And so these friends were coming and they would say, oh, we can't pass by the house of the king without saying hello to the king. And then they would come. <laughs> and then we, we entertained. What, what, what will you take? Oh, scotch on the rocks. Four fingers. <laughs> Some of you don't know I know that kind of language. Then I became born again. Then I discovered that as a child of God, I'm not even allowed to entertain with alcohol. Because the Bible says the you give alcohol to somebody who's about to perish. And I am, I don't want my friend to perish. And so my friends will now come. And I say, what do you, what will you take? Oh, you know what we take. Uh, and they will mention what they want. And I will say, oh, no, sorry, I don't have that anymore. Uh, I have Coke. I have Fanta. I have Vitalema. And they say, what kind of joke is this? And very, very soon, all my friends disappeared. And then I began to have friends who did not love me for alcohol's sake. Now I have friends all over the world. I have brothers, I have sisters, I have children, I have sons and daughters who love me for me sake. And of course, that saved me quite a bit of money. Before I was saved, I was regularly sick. At least once in two weeks, malaria would knock me down. You can go to the University of Lagos and find out from the uh, health center, ask for my file. Because as I be getting out of one sickness, my wife will take over. When my wife is getting over, one of the children will, get over, uh, will take over. And so the file is there, high, until I got born again. And the Almighty God chased sickness out of my family. God will make sure now, and, and of course I never needed to borrow from my driver again. God will see to it that all your needs are met. A rich man is not the one who has... Uh, Control of many banks. A rich man is a man who is not coming to you to beg for food, not begging you for clothes, not beg. All his needs are met. And in the name that's above every other name, I decree that from today you will never need to borrow again. 